breaking news. These are the first images of the Thai soccer team after rescuers pulled them from a cave. You're seeing these pictures from inside the hospital, the hospital sharing this video. Take a good look at this. Doctors say all 12 boys who were rescued are now healthy. What a welcome sight that is. I want to bring in CNN international correspondent Matt Rivers, who is in Thailand, and CNN chief medical correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta as well. Matt, first give us an update. Uh, it is just remarkable to see that video. The first time we've seen these boys since their uh, remarkable, improbable rescue. Uh, and they're in that quarantine. Uh, the doctors say they're going to have to be in for seven days. Health officials gave a press conference update earlier today. They say the boys are in pretty good shape. One of them still has a lung infection, but is responding well to treatment. And their parents have come to the hospital today throughout the day. Uh, for the closest thing they can get to, re to a reunion. You can see in that video, they have to be on the other side of that glass wall. Uh, but you know, you look at the boys in that video, they look to be in pretty good shape, John. Uh, just absolutely a remarkable development and something that all of Thailand is celebrating right now. You know, Sanjay, you're looking at this for the first time uh, along with the rest of us right now. We see the kids in quarantine. They have the face masks on this, obviously this clean setting. What do you see and what have you heard about their condition? Yeah, I mean, uh, as, as Matt was saying, they, they obviously look pretty good. You know, whenever you look at a hospital setting like this, you're trying to look to see if there's uh, any machines or IVs or things that the boys, uh, medications the boys are receiving. Um, they, they obviously look at, they have these masks on, again, to protect them from other people uh, because their immune systems may be a little weakened as a result of what they've been through. Uh, we know they're, uh, they've lost about four pounds on average, uh, you know, as a result of uh, being in the cave for two and a half weeks. So, um, but they, they, they look good. And, and we also hear that they're talking back and forth to each other quite a bit. Uh, one of the things that was mentioned was they're looking for signs of depression or anxiety. It's still very early. This is something they're going to need to look for for weeks and months. But, but right now they say that they're doing well. Psychologists, ophthalmologists, other specialists will be visiting the boys today as well. And we've seen one or two of them sat up there. You know, we saw other waves right there. We see them moving their hands. We had heard, perhaps, Sanjay, that one or two were suffering from lung infections. Is that something that will play out over this seven-day quarantine? Well, typically, uh, you, you want to figure out what is causing the lung infection. And, John, common things are common first, meaning that, you know, is it a viral-type pneumonia picture or bacterial? There are some uh, un more unusual pathogens that can cause infections if someone is in a cave for, for this long. They're going to check for all that. Depending on what it is, it's going to require treatment, probably... Um, IV antibiotics for a few days and then just oral antibiotics. So they keep saying seven days. Uh, that timetable, my guess is, especially, John, after looking at this video, that timetable might be accelerated. Matt Rivers, I had a chance to speak with a couple of American Air Force personnel who were involved in the dive rescue before. They had told me, frankly, there were several moments of doubt that they would be able to pull it off. Over the last 24 hours, we've heard from Thai officials who led this operation. What did we learn about just how monumental it was? Well, we've actually seen video from inside the cave where you see them, John, dragging these boys uh, who look kind of out of it. Now, there's been some reports that CNN hasn't confirmed that the boys were sedated in some way. We haven't confirmed that, but they do look out of it while being brought out of the cave. But you see the video from inside this cave where they're dragging these boys over incredibly sharp rocks. There's water on the ground. They have to go up and down. The narrows, uh, the passageways are incredibly narrow. And what we didn't see was them actually in the underwater part of that cave. Uh, so the fact that it took as many hours it did, as it did, you, by seeing that video, you can see how physically demanding this was and how at every step of the way, you know, you're one step away from falling, from the kids being hurt further. The fact that they were brought out of this cave, the fact that it took so long to do, the fact that the conditions were so treacherous, which we can now see for ourselves based on some of the video we've seen. You know, we've been saying for days, John, how improbable this was, how dangerous it was. But when you see those images, at least for me, it really brought it home to say unbelievable that we are in this spot and, it, and kudos to the expertise and the hard work of the divers and the rescuers who risk their own lives. We can't say that enough. Mm -hmm. They risk their own lives to go in there and get these kids out. They did a remarkable job and the images that we've seen today. Uh, just back that up. All right, Matt Rivers for us, Sanjay as well. Let's get one more look at that new video of those children, the Thai soccer team rescued. We see them now in the hospital. This is the first chance we've had to see them during their recovery. You know, thank goodness for this.